It is golf's unofficial fifth major. It is the home of the PGA Tour. It is 18 of the most diabolical holes ever strung together. It is visually intimidating. It is narrow fairways. It is water at every turn. But for the player who outlasts all others, it is the richest prize in golf. It is the Players' Championship. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. For over four decades, this has been the home of the PGA Tour and the site of its flagship event as we bring you opening round coverage of the players. This is going to be a compelling four days of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round one. England's Tommy Fleetwood is the leader. He's got it going early at seven under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer looking for another strong showing after a top 10 finish a week ago. A beautiful Thursday here on the first coast of Florida. Anticipation in the air for the first real big championship of the year. It is the players and our featured golfer coming off a very strong showing last weekend at the Arnold Palmer Invitational down at Bay Hill. This is going to be a real test of where you stack up in this rookie season, don't you think, Frank? I certainly do, Rich. I mean, the who's who of golf are here on a golf course that has tormented so many players over the years. The fact that there's trouble, often on both sides of the fairway. These greens, they can be as quick as anything. And of course, then you have to finish. And everybody knows how famous this finish here is at TPC Sawgrass. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. He's got 146 yards to the front, 157 to the hole, wind definitely hurting in his face. Well, he'll be disappointed with that, no doubt. Yeah, swing didn't quite look right on that one. Lovely pitch shot. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Sat down fairly quick as well. Good shot. Well done. That is in for a par here at the first. And he'll stay at even par. Fine Thursday as we get rolling in this Players' Championship, the course in pristine condition. Frank, we hear so much about this golf course being one that favors accuracy over distance. Is that fair to say? It is. Uh, often we use the phrase, it favors no one. And I think that's the hardest part of the golf course. There's no stereotypical type winner here at TPC Sawgrass. It really is a good blend of, of just finding position on some holes, then the longer hitters, well, they can take advantage. The new 12th hole, for example, the drivable par four. Um, there's some tweaks in the golf course, but still they expose everybody long and short. And that's the beauty and in some respect, the pain of this golf course. I guess it got the 90% air, but that ball actually went through that tree. Really hit that second shot on the button to this par five, but Frank couldn't get it to stop. 
Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. Has it now sitting at two under par for the tournament. Frank, a nice mix of holes to start. So here we go with a par three at the third. Very narrow at the front of the screen, and that bunker too, you don't actually see it off the tee, the back left bunker, and it sneaks into that left side. So if that flag is on the left, just be careful. Okay, not taking any chances there. A good, safe play in the middle portion of the green. Look here at birdie. Yeah, really not a whole lot in this. Maybe just start it around the left edge, but it's fairly flat all the way. Mm, good effort, but that'll run two, three feet past the hole. For that, safely in, it's a par here at the third. And he'll stay at two under. This is really a fun hold here at TPC Sawgrass. A lot of excitement, a lot of action. A short par for the fourth is only 384 yards. The trouble here on that second shot, you can see the water in front. If you're not accurate, you misjudge the distance, you can pay a stiff price. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Couldn't ask for anything better. Split the fairway, and now I'll have a go at this second shot. Oh, that's trouble over there. Nope, that just did not look right from the start, and that ball is into the hazard. Well, safely on, but that's going to be a long way away. Yeah, and putts this long, so hard to gauge the speed. And that's maybe about what you'd expect. Now, nah, things going from bad to worse in short order here. That's one you'd like to have made. Not a good hole of golf here. It is that time to pick up and move on.
Well, all the pros will tell you the fifth year at TPC Sawgrass is all you want. Challenging at 471 yards, it's the longest par four on the golf course. And that's going to wind up in the bunker off the tee. So this opening round not progressing as planned here in the early going. Just not quite the best of strikes. So going to require a good chip now. Yeah, that's good putt. It is a par here at the fifth, and he'll stay at one over. Well, this hole has it all. 393 yard par four sixth, and in fact, it was Pete Dye's favorite. He designed this golf course, and I think the reason he loved it so much was it incorporated all of the elements that he used in his design. It was visually intimidating, water trouble, and the premium. It might be in the rough, but that was absolutely crushed. Ball sitting okay here for his second here at the sixth. That ball was waving at the hole as it whizzed past. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. Well, this one's more or less straight in terms of line, but we're going down a slight downhill. Needs to be careful, delicate touch required. Yeah, that's a pretty good putt. Just a little bit off the mark. Safely in for par here at the sixth. And he'll remain right where he is. Frank, what do you think of the seventh? Interesting par four um, for two reasons. The undulating green on the end of the hole that also shapes to the right, that makes it look like a dog leg right. But really, you want to play that tee shot just inside those pot bunkers down the right side. Oh, that is squeezing every inch of distance out of the golf swing. That was as powerful as you're going to see. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. That's a disappointment right there, Frank. Yeah, green light special, really. Come up considerably short. And this will be a five foot putt here.
Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. And he'll stay right where he is. Frank, this is a hole that I really like. The eight, 237 yard par three, just a necklace of bunkers surrounding the green. What's the best approach? You come out through that chute or that hallway of trees there, and this being the longest of the four par threes at TPC Sawgrass, the green actually plays much smaller than what it looks because of that narrow entry. Okay, good roll there. It is a par here at the eighth, and he'll remain right where he is. Frank, what do you make of the final hole here on the front side, the 583-yard par five ninth? Just depends on how much you want to risk here. If you hit a good drive down the right side, it's certainly gettable for two, but you can make an absolute mess here at nine. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Going to take a big poke to get there, but a chance with his second to the par five. Well, just a good solid shot right there with that three wood, Frank. That's an aggressive layup, really trying to force that three wood down and get it as close as possible to the green. That's two good shots if you can't reach the par five. Two good shots on this par five, leaves that simple little chip, and that was beautifully played. Easy as can be. It's a tap in birdie here at the ninth. And he'll go out in 36. It's an even par front side. We start the inward nine with a 424 yard par four dogleg left with trees on the right and a large bunker down the left. That one gonna split the middle, maybe get a little rollout as well. That is a good, solid tee shot. So Iona, this his second from the fairway. We are looking at 126 yards to the front of this green. 137 is the number you'll need to get it all the way to the flag. The pin up front in the right hand corner of the green. sure what happened there. Wrong club selection or execution. Regardless, a lot of meat still on that bone. Woo, Nelly. <laughs> Where's this past the hall? A difficult putt coming now. 18 footer. No. Nope. 
Okay, no further damage. It's a bogey five. And he's going to fall back now to one over par. Let's go to the 11th now. It's a par five and a fun hole, Frank. He can make uh, anything from three to seven here. And that's why, uh, as the start of the back nine, especially on a Sunday, this becomes such a pivotal hole to start a run. Big uh, body of sand down the left side uh, that sometimes the longer hitters can get close to with the tee shot, but really it's the second shot. If you can reach this par five and two, it's a very narrow green. We've got it all as we look at the leaderboard on this Thursday. So let's get out and join the fray as we pick things up on the tee at the par 5 11th. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. It's an albatross. I mean, all day long, every day. Yes, birdies and pars and bogeys, but almost never an albatross. And there it is. Up to the 12th, Frank, and a good birdie chance here. Yeah, good old Lynx short par four. Um, this green really divides itself into about three sections. There's a little piece to the right, piece short left, and the one at back left. So as long as you know where the flag are, flag, as long as you know where the flag is, just push that ball into the section where it is. You get up there, you're only going to have 10 or 15 feet left for birdie. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. Okay, that's acceptable there. 13 feet away. Just going to sneak on by. That one safely in. And it's a par here at 12. And he'll stay right where he is. They now come to the 13th penalty area down the left side, protecting this beautiful 181-yard par three and two small but deep maintained bunkers guarding a three-tier green. Safely aboard, pin high, right of the flag, and a chance at birdie upcoming. We turn to Nota Begay the third for this look at birdie. 
Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Oh, how about a beauty there. It is in for a birdie. Next up, the treacherous 481-yard par 4 14th, narrow fairway bunker, and a lateral water hazard running along the left side, and large, deep grass bunkers down the right. Accuracy is paramount here if you're going to get out of here with a par. We have a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. So a breeze at his back as he readies his second to the par four. Are you really going to take that seriously? That ball wasn't even going to land on the green, but it's finished up fine. He ran in a long one a moment ago. This as well from downtown for another birdie. Just five feet left. Okay, good putt, and a par here at 14, and he'll stay at minus three. Back to the TPC Sawgrass, the 15th hole, it's a par four as we make our way to this finishing stretch, and Frank, what's in store for the players here? Another one of those par fours around 450 yards. Uh, ideally hit it tee shot down the right side, keeping it away from that bunker, but that's a flat bunker down the right with no lip, so it's still not too bad. Biggest problem here is that green. So many undulations on this green. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Now note his second from the fairway. And he is right on the number. 140 yards to the front, 158 to the hole. Pin about medium depth, though it is on the left side. Yeah, good putt. That's in for par here at 15. And he'll remain right where he is. Frank fans watching, they love excitement in the game. 16's an exciting hole, isn't it? 
Well, that's where you get it because you hear the roars. You start to see the big crowds that go all the way around 16, 17 and 18 T. You feel where you are in the tournament too. A movement that starts at 16 can be carried all the way to the clubhouse. Tee shot. Now from a little less than 200 yards, this a second to the par five. Struck it so well, you could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Nope, good effort, but that's going to wander a few feet by. See if he can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Well played there, a birdie here at 16. And he'll move to within three of the lead at four under par. Well, there's a moment every year unlike any in golf. At 17, the shot is struck, and for a few nervous seconds, the ball and oftentimes all your hopes hanging suspended in midair, wet or dry, victory or catastrophe. Sometimes it's that simple at 17. Didn't make it by a whole lot, but you can chuckle about it now. It has reached the island, and that's ultimately all that matters, right? in for par here at 17 and he'll remain at four under now to the 462 yard par for 18th hole here at tpc sawgrass and very simply this is one of the hardest and most visually intimidating tee shots in the game that's why you see a lot of players bail out to the right Just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. 
Noticeable breeze coming right to left as he eyes his second. So hot. Okay, a good putt for his par here at the 18th green. And that's going to wind up an opening round 68, four under par. Our featured golfer here today had some moments, but maybe not the round one you're looking for, Frank. Too many mistakes, Rich. Uh, right now, don't think about the leader. Just worry about improving your own game. So that's a wrap for all of us at EA Sports PGE Tour. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time on the road to the Masters.